Bonjour. So, aujourd'hui, nous parlons des repas français. We're going to be talking about French meals or meals in France. So, I apologize in advance for the crazy um, uh, transitions and things, if you can believe it. When I first started teaching, I did not use PowerPoint um, or anything like that because I didn't even have a computer enabled classroom. So, um, anyway. This was the first PowerPoint that I made for a French lesson. And um, so I was experimenting with all kinds of different things that PowerPoint could do back then. And um, so I've kept it for sentimental reasons. All right, we're going to talk about le petit déjeuner, le déjeuner, le goûter et le dîner. And I think when we learned time, we talked about these different times of day. We have le matin, remember it's morning. So, le petit déjeuner, on prend le petit déjeuner au matin, in the morning, so that's breakfast. Le déjeuner à midi, remember midi is noon, so um, close enough, it might be a little before or after. Le goûter, ça c'est l'après-midi, in the afternoon. Et le dîner, ça c'est le soir, in the evening. So, um, dîner, uh, you know, uh, looks similar to dinner, so we're good to go on that. So we've got breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Pour le petit déjeuner, nous avons le croissant. Le croissant. You're probably familiar with croissants. Um, le pain. Les céréales. Et le lait. Now, what you may have noticed there um, for our breakfast items, um, the bread and croissant and cereal in general, um, as you may have read in our article that we did last week, um, breakfast is a little bit lighter than it would be in the United States. Le café, le sucre, Ah, et maintenant c'est le déjeuner. Pour le déjeuner, on peut prendre le poulet. Le poulet. Les frites. Ce sont les frites. Et ce sont les pommes de terre. Les pommes de terre. Les haricots verts. Les haricots verts. Le sel et le poivre. Le fromage. Oftentimes, um, French people will have cheese after the main course. Um, maybe before dessert or sometimes in the place of dessert. Um, so it's a, it's a course in your meal that might come after um you've had your main dish. So you may have noticed that we had potatoes, um, chicken, uh, green beans here as an example of a meal. Um, now this completely depends on the family, but traditionally um, in France, lunch was the bigger meal. So um, schools, workplaces have a larger break than what we might be accustomed to in the United States to accommodate um, people taking their larger meal of the day at lunchtime. Now, sometimes with work schedules and, and different things, um, families may uh, make a change to that uh, and, and still have a bigger dinner. But um, usually in French textbooks, you will see um, bigger meals presented at lunchtime. So, quoi d'autre? Les fruits. Nous avons la poire, l'orange, and you'll notice that I've presented your um, feminine vocabulary words in red and masculine in blue. So l'orange, because it begins with a vowel here, we need to use the L apostrophe, but it is feminine. Um, and I was trying to show you that with the red there. Quoi d'autre? Le vin. L'eau minérale. Drinks that you might see in a restaurant. Um, of course, um, France being a big producer of wine, uh, that's something that you would see quite often. L'eau minérale uh, would be like a sparkling water. 
et le goûter. On aime bien le goûter. Pour le goûter, c'est le chocolat chaud. Le chocolat chaud. Uh, generally, in France, dinner is much later than what it would be in the United States. And I know this varies from family to family. But um, typical dinner time, maybe about 8 or 9 o'clock in France. Now, some families might be a little earlier. Some might be a little later. Um, but generally, students... Um, whether they be elementary, middle, or high school, would typically have a snack after school to keep them going until that late dinner time. So, le chocolat chaud might be a drink that you would enjoy at snack time. Le thé, so hot chocolate or tea. And with that, you might eat la tarte aux pommes. La tarte aux pommes, look at this apple pie. Look how different it is from what we might make for apple pie. Um, Personally, I like this kind better because you've got the crust on the bottom, but no crust on the top, which means you get to really enjoy that apple taste and not have too much crust in the way. And I've got some examples here um, of cakes and cookies um, that might be quite uh, popular. So les madeleines are a little... Um, almost like pound cake. It's sort of a, a denser sort of cake. Um, and they're, they are baked in a shell shape, um, made very famous by a, um, an author, um, Proust, who described his memories of eating these when he was a young boy. Um, les Petits Écoliers are uh, just a particular brand of cookie. Um, you can most likely find these in Walmart and Target and things in the United States or something very similar uh, if you've seen them at Aldi um, on occasion. So if not the brand, Lou is the brand here, but if you don't find the actual brand, you can find something similar. It's just, it's a thick piece of chocolate with sort of a plain biscuit top cookie, like a, almost like a graham cracker top cookie on the back. So, ce sont les gâteaux. Gâteau is your word for cake. Les biscuits is your word for a cookie. So, um, if you know any British um, English speakers, they use the word biscuit to re describe a cookie. So, that's probably where that's come from. We have, um, finalement, pour le dîner, la salade. La salade. Les œufs. Les oeufs. Um, egg is a weird word. If we say un oeuf, un oeuf, just one, then we hear the F. When we add that S onto the end, it makes that F not uh, really be heard. So, les oeufs for um, eggs. So, like I said, maybe a lighter dinner um, might be something. So, you might have salad. You might have scrambled eggs or something. Um, a lighter dinner. And at every meal... Um, your see la baguette, la baguette. So this is the word that we use for this particular loaf of French bread. Um, so you learned le pain earlier in the presentation for bread. La baguette is specifically that long, skinny loaf that we think of when we think of French bread. Quoi d'autre? Nous avons le biftec. So this might not be a light option, but le biftec. A steak, le jambon, le poisson, les fraises, et les framboises. So, um, would it be unusual to end your meal um, with some fruit or possibly some yogurt or cheese or a different kind of dessert? Anyway, merci de votre attention. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.